Hey YouTube, welcome back. So、uh, today I'm going to、uh, unbox、uh, this. This one's the Portland Electric 1.5 uh, peak horsepower Pulsar, and then the model number right here is the 56A08. So it comes with the chain, and then uh, this uh, would allow you to extend to eight feet. To uh, maximum uh, 10 feet in length. So as you can see, the box is、uh, pretty、uh, long. And、uh, this one has a、uh, nine feet and then a half、uh, inch bar with a three eighth inch pitch、uh, Oregon、uh, chain and automatic chain、uh, oiler. Safety feature including reduced、uh, kickback design and、uh, hand guard, easy chain、uh, adjustment. So it comes with the bar stealth、uh, cover included. This is、uh, what the chain is gonna look like. The motor is a 120 volt、uh, AC. The amp is、uh, 7 amp. Here's the UPC、uh, barcode. It is、uh, made in China. See if I could try to open my fingernail. Oh, there you go. Oh my god. So you need to press this button right here. It's for safety, and then、uh, press the button to turn it on. There's a hook right here to hook on the wire in case、uh, you accidentally pull it. This is what the plug looks like. Similar to my、uh, leaf、uh, blower. <laughs> Says、uh, 15 feet. Could reach all the way up there. <laughs> Here's the instruction、uh, booklet on the manual. So yeah, it's better to、uh, loop around your wire in case they just pull out and then、uh, disconnect your electricity. Here's the safety instruction. It's better to wear goggles. So unfortunately, they sold out the oil, but I lucky I have、uh, oil for my、uh, mini bike last time, so、uh, it used the same oil. There's a locking sleeve, so you could adjust、uh, the length. Cutting、uh, thin uh, branches.
And here's the post uh, list. So if you turn right, it's to unlock. So you could uh, do the adjustment. Ow. Ow. And then to lock it, just turn to left. Unfortunately, you got stuck. I might break the box. So this is the plastic cover. Here's a tool that came with it. Looks like an Allen key and a flathead uh, screwdriver uh, combination. And this is the actual uh, chain. That's the part number right there. So the chain goes uh, around here and uh, you need to open that Allen screw and put this in. And you can adjust it. So this is where you uh, add the oil. Oh, it's good. So they have a string right here attached. So you don't lose this cap. And it shows a minimum right here. And then you could move up or add up to there. Look at the spike. Also the flathead screw is right here, so you could adjust the tightness once you install the chain. So, make sure this uh, sit right here like this, 
Okay. And once you move this, it's go in and out. And here's the motor right here. So yeah, make sure you look at the spike on the blade. So you got the right way and then the wrong way. Look at the right way. So you gotta turn uh, counter clockwise to loosen it up. So look at it right here, make sure it's curved in this way, that's the front.
And then uh, that's it. We just need to add some uh, audio in there, and then uh, we can start the test. Let's go and then uh, do that. Wonder if the user was block spy over here. That's a uh, scratches. So uh, make sure you do the proper adjustment for your chain uh, spacing. Okay, two to four uh, millimeter. This is a uh, caution tension saw chain too tightly will overload the motor and cause uh, damage. Insufficient tension can cause chain to derail. Okay. So this one is the SA30 uh, oil or SAE. So I'm going to pull this in. Be sure you have a rag or paper towel ready. Alright, so when it's full, it says uh, it allows you to use it from uh, 20 to 25 minutes. And be sure to check on the minimum level. Once it's get on the minimum level, you want to go and then uh, add some more oil, okay? Or it's going to burn your motor. So let's go out there and then uh, do a test uh, real quick. Hope we don't hurt ourselves. Okay, I have uh, connected my uh, power cable already and I'm gonna get ready to test out the play for you guys. I got some of the guava tree that's too tall. So I'm gonna cut the branches and show you guys.
Well, anyway, I hope you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video. Please uh, be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification, or drop any other comments on below. And yeah, I'm gonna try to cut that one off too. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Like always, peace.